Hey folks, 1881MF. How many of you have noticed you have a nail or a screw or something in your tire and oh crap, what am I gonna do? I gotta go take it to the guy that fixes my tire and pay him five bucks to do it. Well, it's easy, so get yourself a kit. You can get them at Walmart. It's a tire repair kit that costs under $10 and you can change 20 or 30 flat tires with it. So I'm gonna teach you how real quick to do a screw. So here we go, do a screw. Hmm. See that guy? That's a big old bolt. That's nasty. I work in an industrial park, so I tend to get those. So, first thing you want to do is remove that guy. It's a screw, so I'm going to see if I can't unscrew it. Oh. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So, first thing you do is pull the screw out. And then in your kit... Release the snake. You have one of these guys. This is a bore tool. And then you get one of these. That's how you insert this. First thing you want to do is clean out your hole with this bore tool. So go right where that hole is and stick it in there and clean it. Yeah, you got a good hole. I know. Woo! Scares the heck out of you when you do that. Then you're going to take this rubber stuff. Take one of these guys. That's a nice breeze. It is. Don't breathe that though. Because it's these are nitrogen filled tires. And then somehow you gotta get this guy in here. This is the hardest part. <laughs> it really is out of all of this. Should have kind of been more prepared so I can save some of my air. Okay, there. So put that guy on there to the middle. Pretty much like that. And then go in the hole with it. So you got about a half an inch hanging out. So you still got half an inch of these guys hanging out, a little bit more. Now you want to. When you get it there, crank it quarter of a turn and pull it out. Watch this. Quarter of a turn, pull it out. My tire is fixed. Of course, I'll take a knife and I'll trim off a bunch of that. Actually, I got a bunch of loose rubber right there, so I'm not even going to trim it off. But trim off your excess, fill up your tire, and there you go. Like I said, the hardest part is feeding that that piece of tar in that in that little pliers thing once you get that done it's done fill your tire up to factory recommendations with air and you're good to go thanks for watching take care thank you